Good morning. Good morning, y'all. We're back. So sorry about that. I was testing out the uh, sub-only feature last night. So sorry about that. I, I don't know. It's still turned on. Yeah, sub-only feature last night. I don't know. It's still turned on. Yeah, sub-only feature last Just go with it. Okay, guys. Good morning. Sorry, for some reason, the sub-only function on TikTok is um, turned on, and I don't know how to turn it off. We tried just a moment ago, so I apologize about that. But good morning, subscribers. How are you? Good morning, everyone. We are going to make bacon, bacon gravy, and biscuits this morning. So we're going to start by using our sifter and white lily self-rising flour. Can you turn that down, babe? Good morning, everybody. We are making biscuits, white lily, self-rising flour, lard, and buttermilk. And for those of you who missed it, last night we made sourdough blueberry muffins. And I'm going to bring those over so y'all can see them. I'm just sifting my flour. But hang tight, y'all. Look at these. Blueberry muffins that we made last night out of sourdough. Out of our sourdough started, we made blueberry muffins last night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they were so delicious, y'all. So we are going to, we're going to look like a little bakery today. They're so good. So in the bowl. I have four cups of white lily self-rising flour. I'm going to get two. Yes, Sherry, it's sub only for comments. Yes, Sherry, it's sub only for comments. Two eggs, bowls of lard, okay? And then I'm going to work the lard into the flour. Almost like you would grate butter, y'all, okay? Where y'all checking in from this morning? Oh, they can't say. <laughs> Sub only. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. I don't know. We tried to turn it off. We tried to turn the sub only function off on TikTok, but for some reason it won't let us. So I don't know what's happened there. I do apologize to y'all. That is not our intent this morning. Hello from Oklahoma. So there you go. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like. We're gonna grab some cold, cold buttermilk. Cold buttermilk. And we're gonna work two-handed. Morning, y'all. Welcome in. We are making buttermilk biscuits, buttermilk biscuits, and bacon gravy, which we used to call sawmill gravy. Okay? Sawmill gravy. Thank you, Pinky. Thank you, Pinky. Robin says she's in Tennessee. Bugsby says she's in Maryland. Colleen's in Ohio. Maryland, Tennessee. Colleen's in Ohio. Okay. 
Okay, so we're just pulling our biscuit dough together. Okay. That's all the ingredients. Lard, buttermilk, self-rising flour. Okay. White lily, self-rising flour. Kathy says she's in North Carolina. Hello, North Carolina Kathy. Okay, so I use my fingers like I would a dough hook, okay? So you're just mixing till you get all, all that together, okay? And when your things start coming off like that, off the side of the bowl, you're going to take your fingers, okay, and just clean them off so you make sure you get all your dough, okay? All your, all your biscuit dough, you don't want to miss any. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands real quick, then we're going to pull those out and pat them out, cut them out. And we're going to bake these at 500 degrees, y'all. 500 degrees. 500 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Good morning. We are making bacon bacon gravy and buttermilk biscuits this morning. Okay. So as soon as I pull it out, I just start patting it down, okay? And then I'm going to turn it and fold it. Okay, this is how you're going to get the layers in your biscuits. Then you're going to turn and fold. And each time that you turn and fold, each time you turn and fold, you're going to press it down. Okay? Then you're just going to pick it up, turn it. Okay? That's how we're working those layers into a biscuit, almost like you were making pastry dough, okay? So if you guys are new joining us, you can get all of our recipes, all of our recipes off the website. And you go up to Chicken Chick at the top, Chicken Chick at the top, and click that. And then my face is going to pop up again. And you can click on that, and it's going to take you to their website. Okay? Kelly. Morning, Kelly. Okay? And then you just press it down. Okay, this is how thick it is, y'all. Okay, that's how thick it is. Okay. So we got new updates on the website, you guys. So make sure you go out and check it out. Biscuit cutter. This is a two and a half inch biscuit cutter. Okay. You're gonna go straight down with your biscuit cutter, straight down, and then up. Do not twist. Okay. Do not twist your biscuits. We'll, we'll take a look, Mama, about the biscuit recipe. We'll take a look, Momo, about the biscuit recipe. You do not want to twist your biscuit cutter, okay? Straight down. My grandmother says that if you twist your biscuit cutter, you're sealing the biscuit off and it won't rise properly. Now, do I know that to be factual? I don't know. That's just the way I was taught, y'all. Okay, that's just the way I was taught. I know no other way. Okay, we're putting them on a cast iron, cast iron griddle, cast iron griddle, <clears throat> okay, and then you're just going to pull this back together, you'll pull it back together, but you don't want to, you don't want to work it too much because you don't want it to become tough. Okay, you don't want it to become tough. Make some room here. And then, we 
We're probably going to have one misfit this morning. One misfit. The misfit is the biscuit that comes at the end. It comes at the end. That won't look as pretty as all the others, but it's going to taste just as good. Okay. This is the misfit. Okay, we don't want to waste any dough. So we're going to make the misfit. Okay, I'm going to put it right in the middle. It's going to be the star of the show today. The little misfit biscuit. The little misfit biscuit. That's what I always call it, y'all. The misfit. So uh, we're going to put these in the oven at 500 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, I'm going to set the uh, thing for 10 minutes and then we're going to start the bacon baking gravy while these cook. Now this afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, y'all. Can you hear me a little bit water? I haven't one. Oh. At 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are doing a charcuterie, charcuterie class at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That will be sub only. And it will have sub only comments on it, okay? Everybody's welcome to watch. Everybody's welcome to watch, okay? So it will be charcuterie grazing board. Hello, Gloria. Good morning, Gloria. This is just the little bench scraper that I use y'all to pull up the flour. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Robin. Tap, tap, tap. tap. Double tap, tap, tap. Thank you so much. So that's what I do to clean off the counter. Then we're going to move over and start frying up the bacon, y'all. We're going to make bacon gravy. My grandmother used to call it sawmill gravy. You should check out the website for exactly Yes, make sure you take and check out the, the website, you guys, because the mister made a lot of new updates out there just in the last 24 hours. So yeah. check it out. Okay. And I'm uploading uh, videos to YouTube, too. Oh, yes, and the mister is working on uploading the videos to YouTube. So, hello, everybody. Just turned you upside down to see the cupboards. So we're going to fry up some bacon. YouTube. We're going to go, if you go to YouTube, if you go up and click on my face at the top, y'all, the chicken chick, it will uh, bring up our website and also our link for our YouTube. Okay? So in here, we're putting videos over there so you can watch the lives. yes, we're going to put all the live videos that we've done on TikTok over on YouTube. Okay? So they're accessible. You can refer back to them, okay, if you're making one of the recipes and you're struggling. In here, I'm just taking my kitchen shears and cutting bacon, okay? This is just the easiest way that I have found to work through the bacon for bacon gravy. Bacon, bacon gravy, okay? Thank you, Robin, and thank you, Mama, for the compliments on YouTube. Thank you, Mama and Robin, for the compliments on YouTube. We're, of course, new to that process, so we're working on it. So I'm just cutting it down this way. These shears are by Pampered Chef. I know y'all going to ask. These are by Pampered Chef, and there is a link on our website to an open Pampered Chef party. I think these are a little bit expensive, but they are very good, and they will last you forever. Okay. Okay. So bacon gravy is made just like sausage gravy, except it has bacon. And we're going to just cut up a little bit of the bacon in the small pieces so it fries up. Okay. There you go. Okay. Come on. Set those shears aside. Wash your hands. Hey. Wash your 
what I like about these shears, I will. What I like about these shears is you can clean them completely so they come apart in two different things. And then you set them back on here. Okay, you set them back on. And you just turn them. Okay? And they come back together for you. Okay, so that's easy because then you don't get stuff stuck in there and they don't uh, rust. Okay? They don't rust. So I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Just because I put that raw bacon on. It's like a little lotion in the morning bacon. Robin said that she has a pet come apart like that. She loves it. <laughs> yes, they're the best, Robin. They come, they come apart. Makes it so easy. I'm just turning on the burner. And for those of you who watch often, you know my burner up here gives us a little bit of trouble. So I'm just going to use a match. I'm going to use a match. But I like to use this burner because it's closest to the camera so you guys can see. Okay. Bacon gravy. Bacon gravy. Where did you get the turquoise pan? This is what I call my egg pan, um, and it is on our website, but it's not blue like this, guys. It is by the Steel Company, okay? It's by the Steel Company. It's called the Boston Steel Company. So the one that is on our website is not blue because the blue one is no longer available. It was a special order. It was a special order. They still sell them, they just don't sell the blue one. Yes, they still sell the pan, which is the pan that I have loaded for y'all, but they do not sell the blue one. It was ran for a, a special, I don't know, thing that they were raising money for. How, how does the screen get adjusted, Sherry? How does the screen need adjusted, Sherry? We're making bacon gravy, y'all. Bacon gravy. Okay. Bacon and gravy. Can y'all see now? By the way, I got one of the new aprons on. I got one of the new aprons on. Bye, Gloria. Bye, Gloria. Have a good day. We're making bacon gravy. Look at here. These are the muffins that you go into the bakery and you pay six dollars for. Yummy, yummy. We made these last night live at eight o'clock. The recipe is already listed on our website, y'all. So if you go up to Chicken Chick at the top and click that, and then you see my face again, you can click on that and you'll see our website and our YouTube, okay? What's that, baby? No, this ca these cast iron do not come with lids, y'all. I just used the uh, lid off my uh, big pot, my big uh, stew pot. It's 12 inches, y'all. These are This is a 12-inch pan. This is a 12-inch pan. And then this one back here in the corner is a 10-inch. So I'll fry up some bacon. Can y'all hear the rooster this morning? Can y'all hear the rooster, rooster crowing? He's out there doing his work, doing his work this morning. We got coffee.
Nice, Robin. Right? Who doesn't love bacon? And then you put a little gravy in there, and ta-da! It's gonna be good, y'all. Sherry said that she could only hear sizzling bacon. <laughs> That's right. Yummy, yummy. We need smell a vision. We need smell TikTok, y'all. Smell TikTok. So three o'clock today, we're going to be doing charcuterie. We're going to do a charcuterie class and start a new starter. Okay. That's the biscuit. You want me to check on? Give him just a couple more minutes, y'all. I want to ask you to your sourdough in the fridge. What's up? Colleen asked if you keep your sourdough in the refrigerator. No, I do not keep my sourdough in the refrigerator. It doesn't stick around, Colleen, long enough for us to keep it in the fridge. We're making bacon gravy, bacon gravy. We made some biscuits, which are literally like two minutes from being done. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do charcuterie. Oh, let me take y'all back and show you while we're waiting. Let's, while we're waiting for the bacon a little bit. Let me take you back and show you some seeds. Our seeds are doing so well. We planted seeds live last Sunday. We planted seeds live last Sunday. And we do not have them on any grow light or no heat lights. No heat lights. And no or lights or no heat mats. Okay? Just good natural sunlight. Just good natural sunlight. Our grow table. This is our formal dining room table. But it comes a grow table. At this time of the year, and we just planted in containers that we could make ourselves. So we have Coke bottles that we cut in half, berry berries, and these are uh, brownie pans you can get at the Dollar Tree for a buck twenty-five. Okay, that's right. They're doing great. Look at those biscuits. Biscuits are looking good. Biscuits are looking good. I'm going to plug y'all back in. There you go. We're just rendering out the fat in this bacon. Rendering out the fat in the bacon. Yes, the plants are doing really good. They've only been in there. I mean, we planted them one, uh, one week ago today. One week ago today. So they're doing excellent. That's the timer for the for the biscuits, y'all. So let me go grab them. Let's go grab them. We'll take a peek. Let this bacon render out. Thanks, Kelly. Get this. 
let's show you these biscuits. Oh, Sherry said that she heard Lenny. Did you hear Lenny? Nice. There's the biscuit, y'all. Okay. There's the misfit in the middle there. You see the misfit? Okay, they turned out great. Turned out great. And you see how fast those came together. Okay, three ingredients, y'all. Three ingredients. This bacon is rendering out. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good, y'all. recipe is on the website. It is on the website. So this is the Misfit Biscuit, y'all. The Misfit. You want them to be done on the outside, but you see how soft and pillow those are in the inside? That's what you're looking for, you guys. High temperature. You got to cook them at 500 degrees. Okay? 500 degrees. Bacon grease, bacon grease. Yes, it's going to be good, Cherry. It's going to be good. Thank you, Colleen. This is how I like to cut up the bacon and just render the fat out like this. I don't like to put on a lid on it. The lid causes moisture and I don't really care for this. This is what I call rendering the bacon. And it's going to be good. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So he says when you open your bed and breakfast, you have to long check. <laughs> we'll take you up on that, Colleen. Okay, so I'm good with this, you guys. I'm good with the way the bacon's looking, so I'm going to pull this out onto a paper towel, okay? I'm gonna pull this out onto a plate with a paper towel. I'm going to get my little spider over here. Robin said that when you open your bed and breakfast, her and Colleen will volunteer to be a first guest. 
I like it. I like it, Robin. So this is just a little spider spoon. Just thought it would be quicker for me to pick up that bacon like that. And so unlike my sausage gravy, when I go to brown off, when I go to brown off, make the roux for the bacon, I do not leave the bacon in the pan, okay? I don't leave the bacon in the pan. I'm going to pull this off. And there'll be a few random pieces, which is fine, y'all, okay? And then I'm going to add some flour. Add some flour to that grease. that grease I can't I got some flour on my hand baby okay so this is all-purpose flour that I'm putting in all-purpose okay all-purpose flour and I'm just going to roux it up okay I'm just just browning off the flour that's probably a quarter cup of flour y'all quarter cup quarter cup of flour okay and remember the darker you want your gravy to be the darker you want your gravy to be the more the longer you cook your flour okay So that's good for me, y'all. Okay, just let it cook a minute. Okay. Then I'm just going to temper a little bit. Okay, just want to put a little bit of milk in there. Now I can add the milk. Okay. Okay. Now I'm adding the milk. Chip beef gravy? Sure. Absolutely. I don't, uh, I can't remember. Well, I can remember what my, my grandfather used to call that, but I can't say it on here. We don't want to get any, we don't want to break any community guidelines. Any community guidelines? Thank you. It's coming together. So it's just me and the mister today. So we're going to turn this off already. Okay. I'm going to turn off the heat. Okay. Now, we're going to pepper, heavily pepper, heavily pepper the bacon gravy. Okay. <clears throat> Heavily Thank peppered. Thank you for the badges. Okay, and now we're going to add back in the bacon. Okay, we're adding back in that bacon. Had time to sit over there, soak up the paper towel. Okay. Now we're going to add back that crispy bacon in there. Okay, crispy bacon in there, and this, the 
done. This is done, y'all. Okay, that's done. We made bacon gravy. Okay, bacon gravy. I'm going to sh show you on a plate how we're going to plate this up. We're going to get the mister a plate. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the biscuits. You know that's right. Biscuits. Okay, three ingredients on the biscuits. Okay, we're going to open that up. Pillowy soft in the inside, okay? That's what you want. I'm going to do my butter. Was you just tapping my biscuit? I was tapping your biscuit. I was taking full advantage. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know it, y'all. Okay. Bacon gravy. Yes, ma'am. Bacon gravy this morning. Bacon gravy this morning. I need a fork. I'm ready to get started here. <laughs> I can give you my fork right there. How about all right. Thank you. So, I will pull you all back over here. <clears throat> Back over here. Good morning, good morning. This afternoon at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, y'all. 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We are going to do a charcuterie, charcuterie grazing board. Okay? Charcuterie grazing board this evening at 3, well, this afternoon at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Okay? And I'm going to show you guys how you can pull a little charcuterie board together that your family can use on game night. That way you don't have to cook mm -hmm. and you can stay and enjoy your family with game day. Okay? Game day either during uh, football season or game night, which is what we have. Okay? Game night's what we have. And um, family comes over and we make these boards and then you no longer have to be in the kitchen cooking, be in the kitchen cooking, y'all. So that's what we're going to do today at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. What you see right there are sourdough blueberry muffins that we made last night with crumb topping. We made those live at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time last night. They turned out fantastic. So we put them in our little cake board so we can display them for y'all. You're so welcome, Bugsby. Mm -hmm. So today, 3 o'clock, and then we will cook tomorrow evening for dinner. We're going to cook tomorrow evening for dinner. Don't know what we're going to cook yet. But this afternoon, we're going to do a charcuterie grazing class at 3 o'clock. <coughs> and per your guys' request, we're going to do a new sourdough starter. Okay, so we're going to start a new sourdough starter tomorrow, or today, at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Okay? Eastern Standard Time, 3 o'clock. Uh, we are going to do our new starter. So we'll get a new jar. We'll start from scratch. That way you can watch it every day, y'all. Okay? 3 o'clock. So this is another one of the aprons, okay? This is another one of these aprons. This is the baking one, okay? This has got the baking utensils on it. It is reversible. It's got light blue on the back, okay? It's reversible. And uh, we will have these available mid-March, okay? The aprons will be available mid-March on our website, the cookbook I worked on last night and it's coming together nicely. So I'm super stoked about that. The cookbook will be available um, early March. Okay. Early March. Mid March because it's already like the 20th. Yeah. <laughs> the mister, he's being he's being optimistic. He's saying mid March. I would say mid March. And then we got the one that has the chickens all over it. So today we made biscuits, homemade biscuits. And bacon gravy, y'all. So I'm going to give a little bit of the bacon gravy on one of my biscuits. 
so I can taste it. Oh look, the mister is already a clean plater. The mister is already a clean plater, y'all. He yeah, ate that, that up. That was pretty good. So usually we make sausage gravy, but this morning we made bacon gravy. Which apron is your favorite? Oh, y'all, listen, it's hard because yesterday I picked up that lemon one, the sage one, but I like the chicken one, of course. There's a roost, the one that's got chickens all over it, and I think it's adorable. Mm-hmm. We're going to wind her up at 10 o'clock. Back for a second. Mm-hmm. You know what? Um, this morning we're going to wrap it up at 10 o'clock, y'all. This morning we made biscuits and bacon gravy, bacon gravy, and it turned out fantastic. I will post it to the website, to the website. Robin says the lemon one is one of her favorites. Nice, Robin. If you go up to <laughs> Chicken Chick in the left-hand corner and you click on that, it'll bring up this face again. If you click on my face again, it will bring up our website and our YouTube, okay? So we ask you guys to pop over to our YouTube and follow us on there so you will be able to reference back to these videos, okay? And, and they can set a notification on YouTube so when new videos get posted, they can get the alert. Yeah, you, when you guys subscribe on the YouTube, you guys can set your alert so you guys get new. When, you, when we post new videos, you guys will get alerted. Because we're getting them uploaded to... So we're going back and we're uploading all of our past lives on TikTok. And we're going to load them over to YouTube, okay? So if you guys find a recipe on here that you want to try, you can always go over to YouTube and watch the video just to make sure you're doing things, okay, properly. Properly in my way, because I'm not a professional chef, y'all, okay? I'm not a professional chef. I'm not even close. But I can cook good. Mm-hmm. Well, you can look at me and tell I ain't never missed a meal. I sure can cook. And for those of you who were not on last night at the 8 p.m. show, um, I shared with you we listed two new items on the website, okay? Two new items on the website. One was uh, jars that I'm going to put our milk in, our juice in, and our sweet tea in. Um, and the other one is the soap. You see the soap back there in the right hand corner? You guys are always asking me. Um, you guys are always asking me what I use um, for my skin. And I always tell you soap and water, soap and water. So that is the soap that I have used for a very long time. So if y'all want to try it, it's on our website. And we did get our pay links. You guys ask us how to pay. Those are up. Those are up on the website. Our pay links are up there now. So go out to the website, y'all. Go up to Chicken Chick. Click on that little link at the top. Then click on my face again and go to the website. What are you thinking about cooking this week? <sighs> I haven't even really thought about it. I think maybe you one... About what? I haven't thought about cooking this week, but I'm thinking we might do lasagna one day. Mm-hmm. Lasagna. Are we doing spaghetti? Mm-hmm. We're doing spaghetti. Uh, no, Colleen, not until we have them. Yeah, not until they go live, Colleen. <clears throat> we won't be accepting any payment for aprons or cookbooks until we're ready to release them. Yeah, we will release them, and then you guys can pay. We just wanted to get the pay links up for you guys so you would know what type of payments we're going to take. And if you want to buy some soap or other yeah. things on our website. Or... Yeah, if you wanted to buy soap, clearly you could use those now. Um... The soap, you guys, is 
okay? And you want to cut this in half when you get it, okay? Cut it in half. Cut it in half so you have two bars. And it's $13 shipped. $13 shipped. That is including shipping. You have two bars. Okay? So, go to the website and check it out and see what kind you like. Do I like goulash? I sure do like goulash. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Goulash. Use it everywhere. Yes, I do use it on my face. I use it everywhere. Colleen. It's got essentials in it, so it's so good. And there's also plain goat's milk out there. Plain goat's milk if you guys uh, have eczema, okay? So any more questions this morning, y'all? We will figure out the subscriber only. I don't know why we can't get that <laughs> turned off. Oh, pepper soup. Oh, yeah, Sherry asked about pepper soup. We did the stuffed peppers. Well, Sherry, yeah. Um, we did the stuffed <coughs> peppers last week, and I thought that we would have leftovers so that it could get the start of the pepper soup, the stuffed pepper soup. But, girl, they ate those. They ate them up. So there was no leftovers for me to start the soup. But I was waiting for a cold day here in the great state of Ohio to do the um, soups like stew and chili and uh, the stuffed pepper soup. But it has been so nice here. Yesterday it was like 50, right baby? Mm, yeah, close to that. Yeah. It was almost 50 here yesterday. And the sun's out. So nobody wants soup. It's so nice. So we're going to, uh, we'll see. But I'm going to get set up for you guys. For this afternoon's charcuterie. Charcuterie. Tortilla soup, yes. I have made tortilla soup. I sure have. Thank you guys so much uh, for following along. Oh yeah, tortilla soup. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. <laughs> good stuff, the mister says. You know, if we go south, we're going to have us a gumbo. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. I almost <laughs> made gumbo the other day, Louisiana gumbo. My brother did some um, of his army stint um, in Louisiana. and So he taught me how to make some gumbo. Mm-hmm. That's right, Colleen. Remember when we were down there in Georgia and did that fresh crab boil? Mm-hmm. Remember that? My brother was uh, stationed in Georgia. Well, he's been stationed everywhere. He's retired now. And um, we would go to Georgia and do a fresh crab boil. These boys would go catch some crabs and then bring them back and we'd do some crab boils. Crayfish. Woo. Crayfish. And crayfish. Woo, Lord have mercy. Yeah, see what I'm saying, Sherry? You don't want chili when it's 70 out. No, it should be 70 here so I can get that bike out. The mister, <clears throat> the mister is wanting it to be 70 so he can get his Harley out. He's had it out a couple times this winter, which is very rare. We don't usually get to do that in Ohio, get the bike out during the winter. But... He's had the Harley out a couple times this winter. If it's 50, I'm riding if I can. Yes. If it's 50, he's riding. <laughs> yes, they are crazy fun, Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Well, we're going to jump out. Um, thank you guys for joining today. For all those of you who follow along, we're going to be on at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for sub-only charcuterie class. And sourdough starter. Oh, 
From Phoenix to Sturgis? That's awesome. Nice, Tell Colleen. She rode her bike from Phoenix to Sturgis. That's awesome. Nice, Colleen. Very nice. All right, we'll see you at 3 o'clock. So you guys have a blessed afternoon, and we will see you at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for charcuterie and sourdough starter. Okay? Be blessed and enjoy your day. Enjoy your afternoon.